Today we talk about a 74-year-old man who got his entire church high on weed cookies. This is People Am Stupid. Hello, my name is Andrew Parker, aka Abraka Andrew, aka Wolfello, aka Spider-Man, and welcome to People M Stupid, the show where I talk about stupid people doing stupid things. I'm going to start this episode by announcing the winner of the stupid competition from last week. The contenders were the naked man who threatened a police officer with a screwdriver and got tased for it, versus the mop doning guy who was seeking eggs. With a vote of 7 to 0, the naked man that got tased is the winner. Congratulations on being stupid. Now back to this week's episode. Our first story involves Craig Barraza, who is 33 years old, and he failed his driving test five seconds after it started, when he suffered from what he called a mind blank. He failed the test when he pulled out of the test center parking lot and drove on the wrong side of the freaking road. People am stupid. This happened last week in Arberdeen, ah la la, Arberdeenshire. I feel like Bilbo Baggins should live there. But he claims it was just a mind blank. A mind blank, ladies and gentlemen. A mind blank is about something like where you put your keys. Not about something that could literally result in you piloting a 4,000 pound hunk of metal towards another 4,000 pound hunk of metal. Those two things colliding, you and the person sitting next to you with the clipboard flying through the front windshield, y'all dying, you going to heaven, and then you having to try to explain this to God. But, ser but seriously, a mind blank? How does, how does this dude function? Do people accept this excuse in other scenarios? Craig, you must stop hitting me repeatedly in the head with that hammer. I think you cracked my skull, ah. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry my sweet. I must have had a mind blank. What's for supper? Um, um, but daddy, I'm not supposed to be zip tied and stuffed in the trunk. I'm supposed to ride in the booster seat. Oh, right, my little figgy pudding. Daddy's sorry. Daddy just had a mind blank. See, it, it doesn't freaking work. In our next story, a 74-year-old man got his entire church high on weed cookies. People am stupid. Now, the article that I was reading regarding this story was actually, was actually kind of funny, so I'm going to read some excerpts from said article. You never know what you'll get when you go to church. Enlightenment, maybe. A sense of community and friendship, perhaps. Stoned out of your gourd, Apparently that can happen too. A 74 year old parishioner, parishioner? The heck is that? Identified only as Mr. Jones, is now accused of lacing the cookies with THC. Several congregants aged 12 to 70 ended up in the local emergency room on that fateful day complaining of adverse effects from the cookies, which they reported as tasting unusually salty. I don't know about you, but I would be unusually salty if someone got me high while I was at church. <laughs> He's been charged with criminal recklessness and possession of hash oil. And this is my favorite line from the article. Looks like Mr. Jones is about to learn how the proverbial, proverbial? Looks like Mr. Jones is about to learn how the proverbial crookie. I can't say this freaking line. Looks like Mr. Jones is about to learn how the proverbial cookie crumbles. And our last story involves a Cheeto being sold on eBay for $100,000. Yes, I repeat. $100,000 for a Cheeto because it was shaped like Harambe. People am stupid. So apparently the starting bid was $1,199 and there were 132 bids on this particular Cheeto. This story brings together two major subgroups of the People Am Stupid universe, Harambe worshipers and the people who see other people in deformed food. You may think I am making that second category up, but I promise you I am not. Amber Rose as a Cheeto, Abraham Lincoln as a Cheeto. As far as presidents and Cheetos, let's just go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. Donald Trump is a living, walking Cheeto. The man looks in two ways like any Cheeto that's ever been made, eaten, or put on display in a glass case because he is, of course, orange and lumpy. But this article is really about a third People M Stupid category. Those who spend way more on stuff than that stuff is actually worth. Now, I will say that I do understand the argument that the Cheeto might be valuable if it is shaped like Harambe. Harambe was a saint of a gorilla and therefore something resembling him might have some sort of holy power. But to spend 100,000 freaking dollars, I would need that Cheeto to look exactly like Harambe. And this Cheeto does not meet that criteria. Don't ask what just happened with my voice. From this one angle positioned just right, it kind of looks like 
a gorilla, not the gorilla, not the Harambe. It just kind of looks like a gorilla. And I mean, flip it upside down. That's not Harambe. That is a really deformed alien lawnmower. But if you've got an extra grand lying around, why don't you spend it on a person like me? I could use it to improve my life. And I'm an actual human being, not a primate looking snack food. Anywho, that is it for this week. Which of these stories did you think was stupidest? Was it the driving test fail, the 74 year old attacking his church with weed cookies, or the Harambe Cheeto that sold for 100,000 freaking dollars? Comment down below and or click or tap the icon in the top right to join the poll. There you can vote for which story you thought was stupidest. But until next time, don't be stupid.